Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today for another brand new season of Skyblock. All right, we haven't recorded Skyblock in a little while. They've been updating it, you know, dropping a brand new season and stuff, but we are back. You guys already know. I told you this is my long-term Skyblock server for the foreseeable future, and we are back for another season. But right now, this is just going to be a little showcase video explaining all of the new updates, giving you guys a look at the brand new map. And this season of Skyblock, I think I am going to create an island. Listen, last season, we played a little bit i learned a little bit of like what you want to get on your omni tool and stuff i honestly didn't really experience with making like grinders and everything like that but hopefully i recruit somebody who knows how to build a grinder and like what they're doing but anyways guys if you do want to check out this brand new skyblock map it is going to be resetting tomorrow at 5 p.m est that's going to be friday 5 p.m est or march 29th whatever like is more convenient for you guys i am clearly going to be online and grinding don't know if i'm going to recruit like right away in the first episode i'll probably play like the first video solo but after that we're going to be looking to recruit some people and obviously if you guys are going to check out the server hopping on using my ip will directly support me and the channel royal.enchantedmc.net it would be greatly appreciated if you guys do use that ip if you're finding the server from me or if you guys are still you know like a previous player on the server you could still support me by using that ip but anyways guys now let's hop into some of the brand new updates all right one of the brand new updates this season is slash progression i don't even know if i really got into slash progression in the last season there's just so many custom things on here and so much content that i didn't get to get through all of it but slash progression basically um you have spawner progression you have farming progression and mining progression the change with this is that this is now going to be server wide oh you guys can literally see it click to view the server wide spawner progression so in order to unlock like enchanted turtles the server as a whole is going to have to grind 7.5 million turtles that is a grip but that's why it's server wide this used to be like strictly island based but now it is server wide so i feel like that's dope everybody's gonna have a goal to work towards as a server and then yeah you guys are gonna move on to pandas drowned spawner i don't even know what that is a stray strider and then a glow squid i'm not sure if it's the same thing oh it's the same thing over here as well for uh crops so you guys can see um you do not have carrots unlocked the server can obtain this crop by farming potatoes until carrots are unlocked so basically if you want to unlock beetroot you're gonna have to grind the carrots and then hit the cap on that then you will unlock beetroot and then to unlock sugarcane you're gonna have to grind beetroot to unlock the sugarcane and then so on and so forth wow nether wart no wait what does this mean bro is this only enchanted crops or can i not place nether wart i don't know nether wart farms were the meta the last season i played so i guess we're gonna have to wait and see anyways moving on to another brand new update guys you're gonna love this one okay i promise you they have some new enchants and global tool levels so basically what that means is last season you would have to level up your um hoe tool right here to a certain level to unlock enchants right and then you would also have to go in and level up your sword i don't think anybody really leveled up their pickaxe to be honest i don't really think mining was much of a meta but you basically had to level up these two omni tools individually doing their own things sword obviously grinding mobs with the hoe you would have to grind crops but now it is all just going to be one level so if you level up your hoe by grinding nether wart for example you're also going to level up your sword so that's going to be dope it's just going to be less tedious to grind certain things and if you just want to grind one thing you can go ahead and do that but the new enchants guys i don't know all of the new enchants but i do know one of them and i promise you guys here you're gonna love this one all right if we take a look you guys can uh, pause the video if you want to look at any of these enchants these are all probably still been here from the last season there's one extremely important brand new one wait egg blaster that's got to be new chance to shoot eggs out of your hoe causing destruction this this is going to require tool level 150. I didn't even get to max out my hoe last season, right? Wow. Yo, there's mad progress we got to get to in this season of Skyblock, okay? We have got to grind. And then this one right here, Gold Digger Enchant, chance to mine a 3x3 area. Whilst farming turret, that's been here. Thor's been here, I believe. Phantom Swarm, I think this is a brand new one. Chance to spawn phantoms that will break crops for you, making coins slash rubies. That sounds insane. Warden Guard Enchant, chance to spawn an angry warden causing destruction to nearby crops. So there's just so much scaling with the hoe omni tool it's actually insane my goal will definitely be to try and max this out this season all right do a ton of grinding and get to the max tool level but the last enchant right here is the best one of them all let's go ahead and take a look at this thing credit finder enchant chance to gain credits whilst farming basically if you guys don't know what credits are that is the buy craft currency on the server so you use credits to buy ranks to buy g kits to buy the enchanted pass to buy crate keys literally everything you guys can see i have eight thousand credits right now if you do slash buy and then look at credits over here this is uh, all the prices for them so right now i have like eight thousand credits that's around eighty dollars worth something 
something like that. Maybe not exactly 80, but if you max out your Omni tool, bro, level 275 and you upgrade this thing, you can literally gain money while farming like actual real money so that is absolutely insane i definitely no 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 we're 100 getting to credit farmer this season i don't care bro and then you guys might have already saw one of the other brand new content updates if we walk forward i believe last season there were three dungeons right yeah there were three so let's start way over here this is going to be the beginner dungeon player level 25 required i mean probably not going to be anything super insane in here but in these dungeons you guys grind the mobs and then the mobs drop custom items and you use those custom items items to build recipes within the dungeon those recipes could be like pet boxes i think they can be loot boxes as well crate keys stuff like that so super super dope but we do have two brand new ones so again i think the max out dungeon last season was the jungle dungeon at level 100 well we have two brand new tiers this season which means the recipes in these dungeons are going to get even better we have the nether dungeon at player level 150 and then we also have the end dungeon at player level 200 i don't know what player level i got to last season but like i said this season i do plan on grinding a ton and we're gonna have to hit some of these player level requirements for content on top of all that guys this season is going to be a brand new economy and it's going to be a longer map i know the last map i didn't really get to play as much or as long as i wanted to so this map is going to be a little bit longer and it's going to have weekly content updates i've only played one map of enchanted mc so far but the map that i did play guys they were pushing out updates left and right and it was literally like the first two weeks it was insane so whenever these guys say weekly updates you better believe it's weekly updates all right and if you guys are playing competitively the is top number one winner at the end of the map gets to design a cosmetic if you guys are like me cosmetics are super super addicting so to be able to design your own you can you can get pretty drippy on the server like if i just go ahead and spam real quick i did get given a chat color but you know that's my chat color it's honestly pretty nice if i do say so myself with the partner rank it goes from like purple to red i actually like that chat color but they have so many cosmetics on here i think i showed them off a little bit in the last season we can go ahead hit a slash cosmetics they have a bunch of hats they have backpacks but a burger what the hell is that? i'm not taking off my scythe for a burger but yeah bro they have a grip of stuff on here props even a mythical crab hand bro what if i just oh my god now nah, this actually low-key looks crazy what the hell bro so yeah clearly you know they got quite the amount of cosmetics on here and don't forget all of the other stuff that was here the last season bro we're talking armor upgradable sets if i do is it skins or is it sets it, oh i forgot the command i am not gonna lie to you oh slash armor dungeon sets right here you have all of these but they also have skins armor skins right here inferno dragon all of this stuff right here as well as omni tool skins omni tool crystals basically you would attach these crystals right here and they will just boost whatever you want whether that's tokens rubies or money plenty plenty of progression on here but that's basically all of the brand new updates dude ton of content and again weekly updates as well so anyways guys i'm super excited to play this brand new map of skyblock you guys actually seem to really enjoy the skyblock series so i do appreciate everybody who tunes in to the videos and yeah i hope to see you guys on for a great season of skyblock over here if there's any skyblock demons that maybe want somebody to join you know i am going to be making my own island i'm still kind of a noob but we're gonna do a lot of learning this season we're obviously not gonna be able to comp the top top islands but maybe we can get like maybe top five or something i don't know in the future whenever we know all the ins and outs of the server we will be comping the top islands hopefully anyways guys yeah that's gonna do it for this showcase video again this is releasing tomorrow at 5 p.m est on friday hope to see you guys hop on the server and have some fun and yeah with all that being said make sure you guys do hop on using my ip royal.enchantedmc.net and i will see you guys in the let's play videos for skyblock